Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy 8 Pancho back at you again with another video. And it wasn't that long ago where we took a look at a case in where an ex-BBC employee had been jailed for 40 separate sexual offences, including sexual offences with minors. And in that video, we was going on to say that the BBC just as a company doesn't have the best reputation when it comes to employing people that are of this nature. And it seems like we're in this boat once again but this man didn't just work for the BBC, he also worked for ITV. In May of 2018, 58 year old Duncan Wheelhouse was arrested at his home address after an investigation was opened following allegations that whilst he was in a Zoom call, he was watching child abuse videos. When he was initially arrested though, there wasn't actually any evidence to suggest that he had any indecent material on his devices or that he had Zoom installed on his computer. He was then let go and on the 23rd of March this year, he was arrested once again and this time he was charged after admitting to two counts of possessing indecent images of children. In the small details that I can find in regards to a court hearing, prosecutor Richard Milne said, there's been a national crime agency investigation into child abuse in particular by the use of Zoom conferences. On the 23rd of March 2018, there were three people present. This defendant in particular used the username GPerv. It was said two category A videos, which of course is the highest, and two category B videos were streamed on the chat, including the abuse of a baby and a 12 year old boy. It was said that the NCA sting found Duncan by linking the IP address to his rented flat in Soho. It was said that Duncan would go on to pleasure himself and make inappropriate comments in reference to the abuse videos, which included reference to the victim's young ages. David Burgess defending said he's been shunned by his former colleagues, his employers, his friends, and in many ways he remains a lonely gay man. It's unlikely that he'll work again, certainly in the field which he has been, his future looks gloomy indeed. The defence carried on, this is a man who worked for the BBC and ITV and other news organisations for more than 40 years, unblemished service and is nothing short of a tragic fall from grace for him that he should find himself sitting where he does today. He was at a pretty low avenue in life, personal tragedy of the highest order in the last few years, almost certainly that caused him to drink far in excess and take drugs, as can be seen on the video footage involving crack cocaine. I do believe when they reference the video footage, they're talking about this Zoom call. All sense of judgment seems to have deserted him. He attended chat rooms as a lonely gay man. He was taken by surprise when the images that he then voluntarily continued to watch were posted. It was not his design to see such images. He hadn't done so before, and he's never done so again. Judge John Lodge QC said the defendant, rather than indicating why we watching images of child abuse, participates in the online chat room, indicating to the people in the chat room he shares such proclivities they might have in respect of those children. The judge then handed Duncan Wheelhouse a jail term of four months, suspended for two years, and ordered him to carry out 40 days of rehabilitation activity. He's also to carry out a course designed at helping sex offenders and has been made subject to a sexual harm prevention order and also must sign the sex offenders register for seven years and pay court costs of £615. I do believe after his initial arrest back in 2018, the BBC would go on to dismiss him from his job and I don't believe he works for the company anymore as it should be. So if you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you'll know a little bit about this case already. But when you search in keywords to find up this case, there isn't actually that many news articles written about it. Obviously, there is a couple, but overall, there isn't that many. When we took a look at the last one, in regards to the ex-BBC worker where he committed 40 sexual offences, there was actually quite a few articles about it, but this one, it isn't really that many, and it is just crazy to think out there that there is people going on these Zoom calls and they are sharing these images. But let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like, and if you want the latest drill, street, and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Spinny Boy 8 Pancho, and I'm out.